Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca and welcome back to Backstage Pass, where I'm here in our room and it's apparently uh, Sean's birthday. Also, we have the Vice Versus poster there. <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> I grab a book, crawl up in bed, and spend the rest of my day reading. My stress seems to melt away as I do. Not really, that's not the birthday I was expecting. Just a reminder, the filming for Model Devotion is this Friday. See you there! Okay, check email again. No, nothing new for email. I think we can do some shopping. There's my favorite makeup artist in the whole wide world. Oh, hey, Allison. How you doing? Hey there. How's it going? I'm doing great. I just dropped by to see if the bookstore had a game I want, but no luck. No dice? Oh well, it was a long shot anyway. I knew I should have just gone to GameGo instead. No, I was gonna go to the clothing store. There's a GameGo around here? Totally! It's just across town. I didn't know that. And now you do! <laughs> Life's great, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that was a short interaction, but okay. And we still seem to be in the, uh, winter mood, apparently. Ah. Well, that was a waste of time. Ah. So what point is it gonna be a season to, you know... Okay, finally, it's a season to wear proper clothing. Okay, tutoring, exercise, vlog, study... Have the tutoring and then study, blog, and sleep. Okay. Any? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it looks fine to you. So much studying to get done. and sleepy. Today's the day in that Cole's ex episode of Model Devotion is being filmed. I better head to the studio to meet her. I'm so nervous. This is a really big deal. Oh boy. Oh no 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 wait. Don't save there. Save there. I pick through my makeup case until I find the proper foundation for her. Hey being nervous is normal but I know you'll be fantastic. Just breathe and be yourself. You really think so? Mm -hmm. Nicole! I didn't know you'd be here. I'm all approaches, but I don't recognize her. Hey, Lena! I didn't think so either, but they dropped the height requirement for this season. Lena nervously smooths out her already styled hair. Well, good luck! Why is she nervous? Nicole places a hand on her shoulder. Good luck to you, too. And try not to freak out too much. Just breathe and be yourself. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. I'll do my best. Um, okay. Um, a little taking my advice there, but okay. Nina nods and skitters off. Well, that advice sounds familiar. Hey, I know good advice when I hear it. <laughs> uh, you got me there. Is she a friend of yours, Arthur? Not yet, but hopefully one day. I dream of meeting friends with her. <laughs> I thought you didn't get along with most other models. Yeah, but not everyone is terrible. And I'm always on the lookout for a new friend. Aw. Nicole stands and straightens her dress. Well, I'm off to be judged by complete strangers. As soon as Nicole leaves, I begin tying up my station. The other makeup artists are doing the same. Wow, how many of us are there? I didn't get to see many of the other models, but all the work done today was really good. I'm suddenly even more grateful for all the work I've been getting. I glance at the printed schedule we've been given. It's got crossed out lines and extra events scribbled in pens, so it takes a moment to decipher. From the looks of it, there will be three rounds total, but makeup artists won't be needed again until the final round. The other makeup artists have already figured this out. Many of them have opted to make a quick lunch break before work starts up again. Part of me wants to join them in chat, but I don't know any of them and I don't want to interrupt them. Plus, I brought along some homework. Now it's probably a good time to work on that. A few hours pass before Nicole returns with Lena. They, they look, both look ex 
Burun. I don't know what that word is. It's not hard to guess that they both made it to the final round. Nicole immediately seats herself in front of me and I set to work touching up her makeup. Lena hovers around the chair for a moment before mustering up the courage to speak. Um, good luck in the final round, Nicole. Yep, you too. Lena waves and heads off to her station. I finish my work and give Nicole one last check. All right, you're good to go. Thanks for everything, Sean. The final models are quickly ushered to the filming area again. <coughs> I return to my homework and don't even notice Nicole rushing towards me. I look up just as she tackles me with a huge hug. <laughs> Thank you! I take a you won? Tied for first! The first tie ever in the show's run! Congratulations! With whom? <laughs> Lena, of course. Lena approaches with a smile on her face. Keep an eye out for that one. With her talent, you'll be seeing her around a lot. A faint blush creeps up the side of Lena's cheeks. Oh, I, I don't think that's true. Nicole folds her arms across her chest. Well, I think it is, and I'm always right, so there. <laughs> Nikki's always right. Nicole. This is not Ace Academy, no. She kind of does look like Nikki, though. <laughs> Now that I think about it, if her was just a little bit shorter with the pigtails, and yeah, she does kind of look like her. She could be a dead, dead ringer. If you say so. Well, I'm very proud of both of you, and I look forward to being able to work with you again sometime. Count on it! Hey, sorry about you, but I've got something big that up, com big coming up that I'd like to help with. Maybe a cafe DM for Wednesday to talk about it. Sure, let me check my status. Uh, emails, no, no, emails are good. I have $843. The stars for men are going up, I don't know what that means, but okay. I guess uh, for now, I, uh, let's actually put the hoodie on. Put a cute purple skirt on. And these? No. I'm so cute. It's not the right Reese's in the world. Okay. Never mind. I guess sleep. Sometimes it's nice to just sleep in all day. Tutoring. Exercise. Mean Ben. Blog and sleep. Okay, yeah. Takes less time than usual to finish my homework. Good work today. Thank you. It was tough at first, but I think I'm getting used to the school. What about the city? Have you gotten to explore it yet? A bit. What about the arcade? There's an arcade? Yeah, really nicely equipped place. I haven't been there in a while, but I can give you the address. Thank you, I'd like that. V video games on the coolest arcade in town. See if you can win a prize. I should have to try that sometime during the weekend. <sighs> Good to stay fitted. A small smattering of applause welcomes me into the coffee shop. I strongly suspect that I'm not the intended recipient of uh, adoration. Yep, I figured this much. <laughs> ben notices me and offers a quick hot nod in my direction. As soon as the crowd around him disperses, he strolls over. How you doing? Oh, as good as can be said. Keeping busy making the dreams of children come true. He glances at the small collection of coins in his hand. Although I'm not sure they're doing the same for me. Ah uh -huh. Not making any many returns? College students aren't the world's greatest tippers. Especially compared to that nice new hotel job. Hmm. Uh, what should I say? I think I should save. Ask if the hotel has yielded any more work, or... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this one, I guess I, I saved, so I can just go back. About that, I'm not getting more work from any people passing through. You're always so work-oriented. We must be on the same wavelength. Oh, okay. Guess that was a good thing. You'll be happy to know that I did get an offer of sorts. 
Of sorts. Congratulations. What's the job? A couple of entrepreneurs are trying to launch an entertainment website full of original content. They're asking me to do a video of street magic for the site's launch. That's great! I'm so proud of you! Problem is, this is a really professional level project. The cheap cameras we've been using for our blogs won't cut it. They're giving me money to make this, but I have to handle all of the actual production myself. Wow! Some assholes. Since you've got more connections in that area, I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. I certainly try. I'll call you about details later. No problem. Talk to you then. Ciao. Ciao. As soon as I get back to my dorm, I decide to give Lloyd a call. Greetings. Hey, Lloyd. How you doing? Hey, Lloyd. Um, this is kind of a weird thing to ask about. I love weird. What's up? You, s <laughs> you certainly do love weird. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've got a friend who came to me for some professional advice. Can I talk to you about it sometime this week? Maybe on Wednesday? Sure thing. Wednesday morning at 4 24? Sure. Sounds good. See you then. Now for more studying. A popular fashion site linked to my blog today. Traffic has spiked and I've got a lot of new followers. Excited <laughs> about spring break? Oh, hey, Elvin. How you doing? What? When? It's next week! Apparently you don't know! <laughs> Please don't come to class. No one will be here. Thanks for letting me know. John is showing up on a late, on a late night talk show right now to promote Vice Versus Think. Thankfully, there's a viewing room in the school library so I can watch it. Ha! <coughs> 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 hmm. This place is nice. I should probably come here more often. With like some, some uh, who like get drinks lying. Cause oh, never mind. I flip the TV on and scroll through the channels until I see, see a, face, a face I recognize. Okay, there's no voice with this guy. It's my pleasure to introduce one of the most talented men in showbiz, John Miranda. <laughs> Can you take a guess of who that is? <laughs> the crowd bursts into a cheer and John strides onto the set. There he is. He seats himself comfortably across from the host and crosses one leg over the other. It's very good to have you here with us tonight. I'm sure that fans of Night Arant are very delighted to see you. <coughs> I'm delighted to be seen. I have to say, I'm such a big fan of yours. Night Arant is just one of those shows where you sit on the edge of your seat and count down the days until the next episode. And vice versa is much the same. Yes, your new show. Tell us about it. You play a character significantly different from I, don't you? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, he's very different. I play a character codenamed Vice, who's, um, well, he's a serial killer. Oh, great. <laughs> Just be blunt about it. Oh, that sounds exciting. It's certainly a departure from what people are used to seeing. And you're also the producer for this show, correct? Co-producer. I'm working closely with a dear friend of mine, Lloyd Newton. Uh, you may know him from directing Double Agent. We've also got the input of a rising talent, Sean Gooden. Oh my god, he just said, said my name on TV. <sighs> Holy crap. When we first pitched the show, the story was only being told from the point of view of Katarina, Selena Haraway's character. It was Sean's idea to feature Vice's side as well. Oh boy. John, John, I'm watching this. You know that, right? So we have Sean to thank for putting our hero into the role of such a baddie. Well, Lloyd certainly did his share of cajoling, but yes. That sounds like a dream team. Tell us, what can we expect from the Vice vs. mid-season finale? Mystery, mind games, plenty of plot twists. You'll have to re-watch all the previous episodes afterwards to catch the hints you've missed. Yes, I've heard that there are going to be a lot of surprises in the store. Not to spoil the yarns ahead of time, but can you give us a little bit of a teaser? I'm afraid not. You'll have to see it for yourself. Alright, you are the man. Tune yourself in next Saturday at 10pm for the mid-season finale of Vice Versus. It's the first day of spring. I better check my wardrobe to make sure I'm wearing the right clothing. And I'll, be, and I'll do that in the next part. See ya!